Um, so good afternoon. Um, my name's Esme Britton and I'm a fourth year medical student um, from Cardiff University. Um, so as part of a research module last year, um, I looked at the impact of, um, on quality of life of both patients and their family members with MECFS. Um, so before I started the subject, it was quite clear that ME had a negative impact on the patient's quality of life. There was little information about the impact on the family members. Um, there were two studies which looked at paediatric patients um, and the effect on their mothers and also their siblings, and both of these groups did show a negative impact. Um, so just a little bit about what we did. Um, so once we had ethical approval from the Cardiff University School of Medicine Research Ethics Committee, um, the Wames charity kindly posted information about our study on their website and social media pages and how participants could get involved in the study if they wanted to. Um, so volunteers had to be over the age of 18 and they also had to have a formal diagnosis of ME. Um, so 49 people expressed an interest in wanting to volunteer. Um, so we sent out questionnaire packs to all of these. So this include one Who Call Breath questionnaire, which is the World Health Organization Quality of Life abbreviated version, um, and four From 16 questionnaires, which are the family reported outcome measures. Um, unfortunately, we did have to discard some of the incomplete questionnaires from analysis. So just looking at the Who Call Breath, so this questionnaire was for the patient to complete. Um, and it consisted of 26 items um, covering physical health, environment, social relationships and psychological and each of the domains was scored out of 100. Um, the lower the score in each of the domain means it has a greater impact on the patient's quality of life. <coughs> Sorry. And then the From 16 was completed by the family members. So we sent out four to each family so they could have up to four family members complete this questionnaire. Um, so this was a slightly shorter one and consisted of 16 items covering emotional impact and impact on personal and social life. So this maximum score was out of 32, but in this questionnaire it was the higher the score indicated a poorer quality of life. So we had a 74% response rate with the questionnaires. Unfortunately, some were excluded due to them being incomplete, which left 24 who call breaths and 42 from 16 questionnaires to analyze. As you can see, the mean patient age was 45 and the mean family member's age was 50. Most families only had one family member complete the questionnaire. However, there were two families that had four family members complete it. Um, after a meeting with the statistician, um, we decided to take the mean score from each family. Um, so there was just one score from 16 score for each family to compare to the patient's quality of life. So at the end of the Hugh call breath, there was just a couple of questions asking the patient how long it took them to complete the questionnaire and whether they needed any help doing this. So as you can see, 22% of patients needed help filling out the questionnaire and it took almost half of the patients between five and 10 minutes to complete it. So now looking at the results, so just looking more at the patient, so there was a strong correlation between the patient's reported quality of life and their health satisfaction. Um, so these were measured using the first two questions in the questionnaire. So the first one was ask the patient how they would um, rate their quality of life and no patient said that their quality of life was good or very good. Similarly, with the health satisfaction, they're asked how satisfied they were with their health, and no patient was satisfied or very satisfied. Um, another interesting point that we found was that all the scores for physical health in that domain were substantially lower than the other three domains, and this has actually also been demonstrated in other MECFS literature. I'm just looking at results of the family members. So every family member reported some degree in either their emotional impact or their personal social life impact or in both. Um, our mean score was 19.9 out of 32. Um, and I got on my next slide, I'm comparing it to other literatures. Um, and there was also a statistically significant correlation between the patient's quality of life and their family member's quality of life. And I'll go through this in a few slides time as well. 
Um, so this is just looking at our mean score of 19.9 .9 compared to others. So the middle bar is representing data from the original From 16 publication, which looked at 120 patients across 25 different specialities, including oncology, care of the elderly, cardiology. And their family members had a mean From 16 score of 12.3. And then on the right is a study by in Thailand that looked at oncology patients and their family members' scores, and they had a mean score of 11.8. So as you can see, our mean from 16 for MECFS was quite a lot higher. And so this is looking at the correlation between the patient's quality of life and their family members. So we used the question one, which asked the patient how they would rate their quality of life. And then we took the mean from 16 score to represent the um, family members' quality of life. Um, it's a negative correlation because of the different scoring systems in the questionnaires. Um, so this was uh, one of the first studies that looked at the effect of MECFS on family members' quality of life and comparing it to, the fact to their patients' quality of life. And I think healthcare professionals need to be more aware of this and provide more appropriate support to help the family members. Because this may be why the scores for oncology patients are so much lower, because there are charities offering so much support as well as other services within the NHS. And so to conclude, MECFS does have a major impact on family members' quality of life. And this does correlate with the patient's impact. So it's patients that reported a worse quality of life, their family members did have a worse quality of life as well. So thank you very much for listening and I'm open to any questions.